Good morning, it's the Luke Lines Radio Show. It is the 28th of April 2014 and it's good to be back. I've been off for uh, almost a month, been not very well and uh, I did some pre-recorded shows as well surrounding the Bradbury. Um, I, I'm not going to waffle at all this morning. We're going to have Clive DeCarl on later. He was supposed to come on and do a whole show on natural health but last night there were some many breaking stories coming out very late last night, uh, two in particular in the Mirror newspaper and the front page of the Mirror today. Tony Blair's minister and the child sex cover-up a witness saw a Labour figures visiting a paedophile's flat and this is around Lambeth Council and there's been a lot more as well this morning with regards to Cyril Smith and uh, the Liberal Democrats and if people want to cast their mind back to Budget Day, anyone who didn't see it, they can have a look on YouTube and find Bill Maloney confronts Nick Clegg outside Parliament where Bill basically um, went up to Nick Clegg in the middle of a press conference while the BBC were there and looked Nick Clegg in the eye and asked him what he was going to do about international paedophile rings running around the heart of government in this country and uh, Nick Clegg didn't didn't comment, just turned on his heels and literally ran away. And then um, the BBC were very rude to Bill, saying, I'm sorry, it's a protest. Do you see the trouble we have? Well, today, apparently, the BBC were there asking some questions of Nick Clegg, exactly what Bill was doing uh, a few weeks ago in Parliament. So Bill has agreed to come on. He's on the line now. Uh, so I'm going to bring, bring Bill on now. He's going to be on for about 10, 15 minutes because he's really busy. Uh, and then we're going to have Clive on. So hopefully the technology is working today in the studio and Bill will be there. Bill, can you hear me? I can hear you, Luke. Can you hear me? We can hear you fine. So, I phoned you first thing this morning and said, have you seen the mirror about Tony Blair's um, a, a social worker from Lambeth Council has spoken out about um, Labour minister in Tony Blair's government turning up at a flat for child abuse sex scandal, um, sex parties. You then said, have I seen the BBC this morning, which I haven't. So, for the benefit of the listeners, what's happened out there, Bill? What's gone on today? Um, well, an investigation has been opened by uh, Manchester Police. It's, um, well, it's not by Manchester Police. It's um, supposed to be um, uh, an independent inquiry. But Cyril Smith has been named, and um, we're going back to the Member of Parliament, Tom Watson, Lou, who asked the question in the House of Commons at Prime Minister's Question Time, um, there was a paedophile ring working in Thatcher's time, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. Well, what's happened now is Cyril Smith's been named. Um, Nick Clegg, I don't target anyone, anyone, Lou. If I doorstep someone, it's because I know 100% mm -hmm. that they are involved. Yep. This is my subject. This is what I deal with, Lou. You've been around us um, recently while we're working, and as you can see, it gets really hectic. Very. And, and very emotional at times as well, Lou, with all the team that work for Prime Mesh Films and people that um, don't, um, let's say, work directly with Prime Mesh Films, but also help us and give us information. But um, it's all blowing. Um, the institutional pedophile rings will be recognised and it will bring a big shame on this country. And yesterday I heard that in the Queen's speech, whatever speech it is, she's going to incorporate um, child abuse. Yeah, what, the, what um, Cameron's come out and said, Bill, is that uh, paedophiles are going to be treated like terrorists. Now, do you... Well, well, David Cameron has... But, Luke, I'll just interrupt you, because like you say, I haven't got long or I've got a very yeah, yeah, important yeah, go meeting. For it. Um, but the, the, the thing is, with um, if David Cameron is saying that, then we want to know about David Cameron covering up paedophile rings himself, him and Nick Clegg. Um, we're still in contact with Ben Fellows. Um, ben Fellows is still still willing to um, take a lie detector test, but he doesn't trust them, and I, I can see why. Um, um, and he was even talking about going to Russia to have one done. So Ben Fellows is still there. We're talking about Kenneth Clark. Mm -hmm. You hear that one, Lou? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kenneth Clark. Um, and we're also, I don't know if the public, if you, you, um, you all understand as well, that Nick Clegg also works in the private offices of Leon Britton. We are now looking at um, a tape or a tape that has been um, hidden for many years by the government, secret services, whoever, of Leon Britton abusing young boys. So it isn't just Tony Blair's government, 
It's Margaret Thatcher's government. And Leon Britton, I'll say it again, was a regular visitor to Elm Guest House at the same time as Gary Walker, who was heavily a leader of Sinn Féin and the IRA. While bombs were going off on the streets of this country, I'm sorry, I'm getting angry now, while bombs were get going off on the streets in this country and people were being accused of this and that, while these two, our Home Secretary and the leader of Sinn Féin and the IRA were messing about with children at Elm Guest House and worse. And we're now going into the detail of snuff movies. A witness I'm working with was asked if he knew anything about a snuff movie where a young child was decapitated. So it's going a lot deeper, Lou. And I asked Nick Clegg that question four years ago, Lou. Yeah, yeah. Um, Bill, can we just quickly go on? What happened on the BBC this morning? Because obviously I came straight into the studio and I've just been sort of trying to... Well, they're naming Cyril Smith and they're saying the Liberal Democrat leader, the Liberal Democrat Party and the Labour Party have got questions to answer about paedophilia, institutional paedophilia within councils, within government. Mm. Okay. And it, it is banging on their door now, Lou. So hang and on a minute. They can't hide anymore. No, they can't. And this hide. Is, Lou, can I just say um, that this is all because of victims that are coming forward. So you victims that are out there, you come forward because you're now witnesses. And you know this fight, we're taking this right into the heart. We are in the battlefield now, and swords and sabers are clashing. Mm, absolutely. And we will not back down. No, I mean, we also... victims and survivors of institutional child abuse, the, the people, when the, your, your, your audience, Lou, when they st start watching the news today and they see what's happening, they will understand um, my, uh, my temperament at the moment, if you like. Mm, absolutely. And that's what I would like to say to all you institutional paedophiles that are happening, that, that, that were involved in uh, these atrocities that were happening... We said we're coming to get you, and it's not even started yet. No, it's not. I mean, we've also got to remember how the BBC... I mean, you, you went up in front of Nick Clegg and all the other politicians when he ran away from you, and the BBC's attitude towards you was an absolute disgrace. They just called you, see the problem we have when protesters run, and all they want to talk yeah, about yeah, is tax. No, so no, hang on a minute. Wait, wait. Hang on. I want yeah. I want people maybe to maybe get in touch with the BBC and the BBC actually maybe put out a public apology to you because they are now three weeks after, four weeks after that event, they are now highlighting the very issue you confronted Nick Clegg with on Parliament that day where they just brushed you off. So Well, uh, don't forget, Lou, Lou, don't forget when I was ejected from question time yeah. and I asked that question to the panel, what are you going to do about institutional paedophile rings that are operating in this country now? That was four years ago, Lou. And Nick, uh, Nigel, is it Nigel Farage? He was sitting on that panel as well. Right. And so was Michael Gove. Right, so, so I asked them all four years ago that question. And then recently, outside Westminster, I'd done it to Clegg again, and he ran away. He did. So, you know, for your listeners, if they want to see that, if they just put in Nick Clegg and Bill Maloney, it will come up. Exactly, exactly. But, I mean, I think, uh, but, I think uh, the BBC I would, owe you I would an apology. Like yeah. I would like to say, while all this mayhem is going on and will get worse and worse, I would just like to send the light of truth and love to all victims and survivors of institutional child abuse, the torture... The incarceration, the drugging, the sexual assault, every kind of assault that you can imagine, all my brothers and sisters out there, I'll say to you, love, yeah. don't do it with anger, come forward, come forward, we love each other, we shall continue to fight for each other until this has been exposed and the other child abuse that is going on in the institutions now will be stopped. Absolutely, absolutely. Because I don't need to, Lou, this morning I don't, all I, all I wanted to do was make the people aware of what is happening in the news at the moment, in the national news. Mm. But the national news, in the alternative media, we've been talking about this for years and years and years. 
Yeah, as I mean, as you were calling about Jimmy Savile for how many years before it's finally broken, there still hasn't been a proper investigation. You know, we have to remember the BBC were there mocking you. They haven't done a, a proper cover up into the. They haven't done a proper investigation into the Jimmy Savile uh, no, affair. No, yeah. no, the BBC, the BBC, and whoever else have not mocked me. They have mocked victims and yes. survivors of an institutional child abuse. They have not just mocked no, me. I don't yeah. represent me. I represent the institutional abuse victims. And uh, to the public, you've really got to be so careful. You've got to be so careful and, you, uh, and the public needs to get involved in this because it's a little bit like, you know, starting a, uh, being a fight going on and you just stand there and watch an old woman being beaten up. Yeah. It's worse than that what's happening. So I ask all those people that aren't victims and survivors of institutional child abuse to become involved as well and to help us as we help them in other subjects. Yeah. Brilliant, Bill. And I know you're busy and you've got to get off. I'll see you over the weekend um, and we'll, we'll, we'll just go a bit further with this. But um, everybody, take a look at the, the, today's front uh, page of the Daily Mirror and uh, get onto the BBC. Um, yeah. BBC Lou, can, I just say, can I just say one thing? Yep. We are in production at this moment as we talk of a major documentary. And we've been making this documentary for a long time, Lou. Yeah. And it's all in this documentary. And it will never, ever be exposed by the newspapers, national media, broadcasting media, as like, like the alternative media does it. Mm -hmm. As long as we keep control and we do it in a certain... When I say control, um, you know, not too many... Um, Expletives, maybe, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, and other examples. But as long as we do that and maintain a discipline and keep our strategies strong and straight, then we will win. Brilliant. Yeah. All right. All right, you, darling. Love you lots. I'll see you at the weekend. I'll see you at the weekend. See you later. Bye. Cheers, mate. Wow. Well, there you go, Bill. I'm going to play a song and then we're going to maybe lighten things up a little bit with some natural health talk and self-empowerment talk. 